Matt Ishida and Izzy Izumi are the two main points of today's set review episode. With new cards for Gabumon and Tentomon, where do they go from here? As usual, I'll start with one Tamer's line before jumping to the other. So with that, let's look at some new Garurumon support cards. Sunomon returns as another baby Digimon that your turn, once per turn when your Digimon's effect adds a card to your hand, this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. While true, you have to add a card by hand, the buff does last through your opponent's turn. Though if you're strictly looking for DP buffs in general, BT5 can also satisfy this condition. For Gabumon, this level 3 Digimon is the second Gabumon that has the black text box Digivolution condition from any Sunomon. Third, if you count Gabumon X. Because of this, you have more effective ways to color cross. Start of your main phase, one of your Digimon gains Blocker. Then if you have a Tamer with Matt Ishida in play, draw one. And just like that, your Digimon has Blocker and could potentially have a buff through your opponent's turn. The inheritable this Gabumon offers is a simple draw one when attacking once per turn. Can you imagine if Promo Where Garurumon were still unlimited? and had the battle protection of unlimited copies of EX5 Gabumon and Garurumon X? Crazy. In the sealed setting, this gives you some draw power, but it'll only be effective most if you can pull a Matt Ishida too. Garurumon-wise, this is the missing piece we needed for more effective color crosses between purple and blue. Remember, Greymon has had several printings that give it flexibility between black and red. Now Garurumon gets its second copy. When Digivolving, if you have a Tamer with Matt Ishida in its name and play, draw one. If you don't have a Tamer with Matt Ishida in its name and play, you may play one Tamer with Matt Ishida in its name from your hand with the cost reduced by three. Purple Matt? Check. Blue Matt? Also check. Choose your poison. Its inheritable is identical to that of Gabumon. Where Garurumon Ace though, Blast Digivolves into the scene with a lot of stellar effects. On play and when digivolving, draw one. If you have five or more cards in your hand, trash one card. A blue Digimon trashing card? What is this? BT1 again? With Gabumon, you can stack the blocker effect, provide battle protection with the EX5 Gabumon X, digivolve into Garurumon, then go into any Garurumon X to set up a 7000 DP blocker that has battle protection. Hella work. All turns, once per turn when your Digimon adds a card to your hand, one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers can't suspend until the end of your opponent's turn. Now we're adding Stunning 2? Oh man, it's like Blue Flare all over again. Metal Garurumon is one of the secrets of this set, and a Digimon that Digivolves for 4 from Blue or any level 5 Digimon with Garurumon in its name. Where Garurumon? Check. Where Garurumon X? Also check. Maybe one day we'll get Shadow Wear Garurumon. Regardless, if you have a Tamer with Matt Ishida in play, and your opponent has a Digimon with 10,000 DP or more, one of your Digimon may Digivolve into this card in your hand for a cost of 4, ignoring the Digivolution requirements. Yes, you can use the training option cards in combination with this. Like BT14 War Greymon, this Digimon also gets the same treatment. This Digimon also has Evade. But when Digivolving, three of your opponent's Digimon and Tamers can't suspend until the end of your opponent's turn. And lastly, all turns, once per turn when this Digimon becomes suspended, you may unsuspend this Digimon. This largely in my mind is a retrain of Starter Deck 2 Metal Garurumon with this effect. And being optional, you never see your unsuspends go to waste. Sorry, old horse. In time, they'll give you better support. For options, the first is Foxfire. This option simply returns one of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon to the hand. If you have a Gabumon or Garurumon named Digimon in play, return one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest level. For general removal in sealed, it's fine, but for competitive play, hard pass. Unless the format points towards largely single stacks, larger threats won't be dealt with as you'll hit the lower levels first. Wolf of Friendship is the other option card in which if you have a Tamer with Matt Ishida in its name in play, you may ignore the color requirements. This is the Warp Digivolve option card equivalent to the Dragon of Courage, though if it's hidden security, you get to play a Gabumon from hand or trash without paying its cost, and then add this card to your hand. Considering Metal Garurumon decks don't have Blitz like War Greymon, you'll typically be setting up defense. But again, I don't recommend this card. And finally, to round out the support cards is another Matt Ishida. On play for 3 memory, you can reveal the top 3 cards and add 1 Digimon with Gabumon or Garurumon in its name to your hand 
and then bottom deck the rest. Your turn when your Digimon effect adds a card to your hand, by suspending this tamer, gain one memory. A pity that this is explicitly Digimon, as this tamer could have been two memory overall. Sadly, it's not. Generically, it's great search for your Gabumon and Gururumon cards. Moving to Tentomon and Izzy, Motimon also returns as another level 2 Digimon. Intriguing because this Digimon's inheritable is simply end of your turn. If this Digimon has Insectoid in its traits, it may attack your opponent's Digimon. Meaning as you Digivolve now, even if you pass turn, you can pseudo blitz into a Digimon to remove their board presence. Keep in mind though that this Digimon must be suspended for you to attack into it, since no effect at this point lets you attack unsuspended Digimon in this category. Some older cards may have even more utility now, specifically the classic collection cards. Of all the eggs though, Sunomon is probably the best one because you have so many different colored Digimon that have draw effects to proc Sunomon. But let's move on, shall we? Tentomon start of your main phase by suspending one of your Digimon. One of your Digimon with Insectoid in its traits gets plus 3,000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. Meaning through your opponent's turn, you're buffed. Only downside is, you need a second body in play. This effect would also nullify your ability to attack, as you were already suspended. But the inheritable is simply when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, gain one memory. Kabuterimon all turns while this Digimon is suspended, it isn't affected by the effects of your opponent's Digimon. And like Tentamon, the inheritable is all turns, once per turn when this Digimon deletes a Digimon in battle, gain one memory. If you suspend using Tentamon's effect, your Kabuterimon is effectively an 8000 DP body that can't be affected by Digimon effects, or battled over, in theory. Unfortunately, option cards can be quite problematic. Hilariously, if your opponent were to try and attack over your Digimon, Blast Digivolving into Mega Kabuterimon Ace in combination with your Tentomon would make it a 10,000 DP body. A big beefy body that is also supplemented by its on-plane when Digivolving effect, that would give it another plus 3,000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. But that's not all! If your opponent was attacking, regardless, you may switch the attack target to this Digimon. In some ways, I'm kind of surprised that the Kabuterimon line got such stellar effects for DP buffs and redirects while the Palmon line felt subpar in some ways. Don't get me wrong, the effects are good for their archetype, but this just feels beastly, even with some effect protection in the form of Digimon. Like Kabuterimon, it is also unaffected by the effects of your opponent's Digimon while it is suspended. For a hit and sealed, it is really strong. For the last Digimon for this set review, it's Hercules Kabuterimon. A level 6 Digimon that has the start of main and when Digivolving effect, that suspends one of your opponent's Digimon. And then separately, one of your Digimon gains piercing for the turn. And like Kabuterimon and Mega Kabuterimon Ace, this Digimon is unaffected by your opponent's Digimon effects while this Digimon is suspended. It appears that Quartzmon cannot affect Kabuterimon, Mega Kabuterimon Ace, or Hercules Kabuterimon while it is suspended. Meaning at your unsuspend phase, it can unsuspend since it's unaffected at this point. One major pro about this effect is that with the Anubis format coming to a close, the protection from retaliation or even the nuking effects of Anubismon won't be as prevalent. Though for a boss monster, Hercules Kabuterimon does do what green typically does, suspend and pierce over. For a sealed hit, it's also going to help with controlling your opponent's board state and minimizing their bodies. Option-wise, Super Shocker is the first one to go over. This two-cost green option card suspends one level six or lower Digimon. Bandai. How can Greymon's and Garurumon's options be dog water, but Biomon and Super Shocker can do some higher DP or level strats? Anyway, afterwards, one of your Digimon with the Insectoid trait gets plus 3000 DP. A super buff again if you have Insectoid out, and they're suspended. Security wise, you get double the use again, like Needle Spray. For its cost and effectiveness, hope you pull a lot of insects. Meanwhile, the other option is Clash of Knowledge an option that generically suspends any of your opponent's Digimon. Then if you have a tamer with Izzy Azumi in its name, one of your opponent's Digimon gains on deletion, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack until the end of your opponent's turn. In combination with the old starter deck Mega Kabuterimon, that's kind of hilarious considering you can now trash two security. For three memory, pretty good. Security wise, it's the same. Suspending one of your opponent's Digimon, then adding this card to your hand. But the last and final green card for this set review goes to boy genius, Izzy Azumi. 
And praise the digi-gods! This Izzy is a green memory fixer. The first of its kind. Which means at this point, out of the original 8 digi destined, Joe Keto is the only tamer who does not have a memory fixer. This tamer has a simple opponent's turn effect that when an opponent's Digimon attacks, by suspending this tamer, switch the target of the attack to one of your suspended Digimon with the Insectoid trait. Yo, we get an analog man like tamer for Insectoids? Sick. Generally speaking, despite the restrictions to Gabumon X and Gururumon X, Gabumon offers more pieces to dig quickly into the deck, while setting up potentially many unsuspends. While the restrictions will kill the overtuned version, this deck will still be fairly strong. As for Insectoid players who are getting bored playing Grandis, or Green players playing Bloom Lord, there are a lot of new support cards offered that help, especially with a protection that can stop Digimon from de-digivolving like Death Xmon or Shadow Seraphimon. Deep reducing in several cases, bounce from Mirage, retaliation from Anubis, and more. Which cards did you like most, and where to from here? The answer is X Antibody. This is Digipanda. Logging out.